to the shop, I'm going to instruct you on how to change the oil on a 2017 Chevy Equinox. All right, we got the Ecotec in this vehicle, and it takes a special kind of oil. That's it right there, Dexos Oil, 5W30. Got to make sure you get the right oil for this vehicle, man. I don't know, I can't stress that enough. These newer vehicles, they all take different kinds of oils, different specs. Make sure you got the right oil. All right, so there's your cover, filler cover, all right, where you put the oil in. And right down here is the cover to the oil filter. It has an internal oil filter. Yes, it does. And there's your oil dipstick. Bam. So the first thing I've done is I let this car run for a little bit. So this is nice and warm. I like to change the oil on a warm engine. There's your oil pan, all right? It's the one that looks pretty square. And then you got the oil plug on the back side. And that's the plug that we're going to take off to change your oil. I'm actually doing this with the vehicle on the ground. I have just enough room to get in here, which is pretty cool. I don't even have to jack this up. So it'll stay level and all the oil will flow out. And the engine's still nice and warm, so that should flow nicely. All right, so that nut is a 15 millimeter nut. And wow, that's over tight. Somebody tighten the shit out of that. All right, so once you get it cracked open or loose, put your drain pan underneath and get that right off of there. It should come out easy, smooth. If you're having a difficult time removing this plug, something's wrong. And there you go. We'll let that drain for a little bit. Quick look at the oil plug. You just want to make sure that the washer or rubber gasket is still in there and it looks good. Make sure the threads look really good. They're not stripped or damaged in any way. And this one is actually perfect. It's ready to go back in. We're just going to let it completely drain. And then we'll put that all back together. Alright, once you're done draining the oil, we're going to go ahead and put the plug back in. It is a good idea to wear gloves when you're doing this kind of stuff. So you don't get the oil directly on your hands. I usually wear gloves, but uh, man, I don't have any. I'm all out, and this thing is way we'll do for the oil change. Alright, so just tighten it. Now on these plugs, if you're going to talk them, they're about 25 foot-pounds. Honestly, I'm not going to talk it. I'm just going to snug it up. I've done this enough times where I kind of get it right on the money. I'm going to put this somewhere where the oil filter is going to be probably leaking. There's going to be some leak leakage. You know it comes from the top. So it's kind of like in the area. Hopefully it will catch any oil that drips. Let's go back up top. I've got a 32 millimeter wrench. And you can see it's a big wrench. It gets, you know, it gets in there. It gets on the oil filter cover. And it fits on it very well. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to actually... Uh, unscrew that cover but I tell you they really don't make this so the average Joe can do his own freaking maintenance they really want you going back to the dealers but that's not gonna happen here at the uh, Tech and Mobile garage so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just attempt to take it out with that 32 millimeter here goes nothing and there's your Oil filter. Alright, I use AC Delco filters. I like them. They're cheap. They're not that expensive. Comes with the new O ring. Boop boop. And new filter. Alright, we're gonna take the old filter right out of there. Boom. Put that in the carton so I can dispose of it. You can tell this O ring is still OEM. And I'm going to take it off though and replace it. I'm not even messing with these O-rings. Comes with a new O-ring. There's a reason for it. You just take it off. Put the new one on. There you go. Just trash the old one. This filter clips right onto the rings on here. There you go. It's got like a spring action to it. Make sure it's actually clipped on. All right, and it's on properly. And now this is gonna go back into the car. 
All right, so we're going to take that housing assembly, all right, with the filter on it, and that's going to go back in. They do sell these uh, aftermarket separately, the covers in case you damage these. They do have them. You can buy them. It's just plastic. I don't see that lasting very long, to tell you the truth. And then just get it started. Make sure you don't cross thread it because it's plastic and... I don't know, it would just be a nightmare trying to get a new one right now, a new cover. You probably have to special order them. And we're just going to tighten it back down. So we take the cover off. So now we're going to get the oil in that bad boy. I use Amazon Basic Full Synthetic 5W30 Dextose Oil. I find it to be cheap and it works great. Plus it, it meets all the specs and it's certified so I, I'm happy with it. For the price, you can't beat this oil, man. Here's the dipstick. This is the tip of the dipstick. The oil level must be between the cross hatches, so which is right here, minimum, and here is max. So we're just gonna check it before we start it. Put it into the dipstick hole there, or the tube. All right, so with five quarts, she's right on the full mark, and we're good. I am happy with that. Now we'll just wipe up the area. Clean our stuff up, put the cap back on. We're gonna start her up, make sure uh, no, there's no leaks. All right, quickly just double check your work. Put the cap back on, filters in, make sure it ain't leaking, and the dipstick's back in place. And of course, check underneath. There's gonna be one more thing you gotta do, and that's come into the car and you gotta reset the change engine oil soon light. So basically what you have to do for that is you turn your key to on and you hit the gas pedal three times all the way down. And then you start her up. And it should be all set. So now we check the menu. Remaining oil life 100%. So we're good. Alright everybody, so that's going to be it for this video. It's doable with the 32 millimeter wrench, not recommended. I'm gonna go out and look to see if they have a special tool, which I'm sure they do, or a socket for that to get in there easily because uh, it's a pain in the buttocks, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, that's it. God bless everybody, God bless America. And don't forget, be responsible, dispose of your used oil properly. Let's take care of this planet. It's the only one we have. Bye-bye.